Hello there and welcome to Adicraft. Today I'm going to be taking you through part two of the tutorial for this fantastic futuristic mega base. And if you haven't already, make sure you do check out the first part, which I will link in a card and in the description. And above all, make sure that you do subscribe so that you don't miss any future tutorials on the channel. But first of all, let's take a look at the materials. And as a reminder, this is what you'll need. So pause the video to make sure that you have everything. The first thing that we're going to do is we are going to come to this bottom sea lantern that we have here and this bottom layer of grey concrete and we're going to connect those up using some quartz. We're then going to connect up directly above that as well so it connects up with the glass and we're going to put one, two, three of the quartz underneath. Now just above it we're going to put two quartz here and then we're going to run two quartz to the other side. From this point we're going to take a line of quartz so it's one block thick all the way up until it connects up at the top and we're going to do the same from this point here all the way down so again it's going to be one block thick coming through so we're going to fill in this section in a second but make sure first of all that you do that all the way around the build inside these holes that we've created now we're going to take out some blocks in the edge of the donuts which are going to form part of the access uh, to the different layers and also with the bubble vaters. So first thing we're going to do is come to this bottom layer that we've got the quartz on. I'm going to take this out and the, th the two blocks above that so it's going to come up like so. We're also going to go to the top and take out this one block here and put a block of waxed copper in there as well. So now we've done that we're going to move on to these side sections and the first thing that we're going to do with these side sections is we're going to build up some of the cyan concrete that's going to go round the edge up until this section here. So we're going to build up on both these sides and once we get to the opening we're going to leave that and then we're going to pick it up again when we get just above the opening. And we're going to run this all the way round and up like so, filling in these gaps so we don't leave any voids for anything nasty to spawn. And we're going to do the same at the bottom here as well for these four blocks on either side. And then switching to the black back here, where we've got this two blocks here sticking out, we're going to fill those in. We're going to fill these blocks in and these blocks in as well. So basically we've surrounded now with the cyan concrete all the way around this hole that we've got apart from the section at the bottom and what we're going to do is just fill that in across now from that point. So it's only going to go one block beneath this section but as you'll see from the outside and from underneath here it's going to give us a nice flat ceiling on the inside. Once we've done that the next step is to get our grey concrete and we're going to fill in this entire hole on both sides with the grey concrete. Once we've done these grey areas on both sides and all the way around the build we're actually going to go inside and we're going to deal with now the back of the bubble beta and we're going to do that where we've got this line of cyan at the bottom coming up and you'll know you're in the right place when you come up on the inside and you get to this divot at the top. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to place a block of copper and then we're going to place a sea lantern. Then we're going to have the same pattern basically going right the way down which is going to be two sea lanterns and a copper block and then two more and so on. Once you get to the bottom like this you finish off the final set of two copper and it's just beneath the cyan that we've got here and that shows you that we've got to the right level and we're then going to take out these three glass blocks and what we're going to do is we're going to place a concrete a cyan concrete on one side a sea lantern in the middle and a cyan concrete on the other side and then fill in these two sections with just two more cyan concrete the last thing in this step is that we're going to put a cyan concrete next to this sea lantern another sea lantern in front of this and then we're going to place a sea lantern in the middle here and just finish this off with some copper either side. So it does leave a bit of a void in there. If you do want to fill that in, you can, but there is plenty of lighting in there, so nothing will spawn. Now, from the bottom where we've got this cyan concrete that we've just placed, we're gonna have a line of the smooth quartz coming right the way down until it meets up with this bottom section here. And then we're gonna firstly fill in all of the stuff on this side, the donut side. So make sure that this is all filled in with the smooth quartz. And I think that's the last block here. Now, next to this, on this side, we're gonna have two, and then we're gonna have two of the smooth quartz there like so. Next, we're gonna to come to this sea lantern. We're gonna move across one block towards the outside of the build. And then we're gonna come down and fill in one smooth quartz in that corner just there. 
Then move across two to the outside of the build and replace this with the sea lantern. Then there's going to be two smooth quartz underneath that. And then we're going to place five smooth quartz like so. Now directly beneath the sea lantern, we're going to place a smooth quartz here and then place three more. So it's a total of four going towards the center of the build. And then stepping in again, a further one, we're going to place another four coming out like this. So this goes diagonally down and that goes diagonally down as well. The next step is to come to this bottom sea lantern that's just beneath the blocks we've just placed. And we're going to build this up until it touches at the top. Then we're going to build over one more block this side and one more block this side. And then we're going to fill in this gap with some smooth quartz. And then in the gap that we've created, we've now created this hole. We're going to fill all of this in with our black stained glass panes like so. So we'll fill all of this in and then repeat that all the way around the build. Next, we're going to start on the walkways that come from this big dome to the central section on both sides. So I'm going to show you on this side and just mirror it on the other side. And what we're going to do first of all is we're going to come to the section that connects to this small dome. We're going to come across and find this section that sticks out by two. So we've got the sea lanterns here and this section that comes on by two. And we're going to go one, two, three, four blocks diagonally. And then we'll be one block straight in like this. We're then going to skip these two blocks and from the sea lantern we're going to come out two blocks like so. And this will then line up on a straight line. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take out these two blocks and these two blocks and the block above them so it's three high. We're going to add some more quartz. We're going to add one block here and two blocks here so this is also three high. And then we're going to start placing some glass. So we're going to place two high all the way along here and one block on the edge to bring this to three total height. We're going to bring each of these up by two blocks as well. Now we're just going to bring the glass out diagonally here filling it in so it touches the edges uh, and brings it across and once we get to this edge it should then be all in line and we'll have four glass blocks along the top and as I say repeat this on the other side and also all the way around. Now we're going to start on the triangular sections that are going to connect up these domes to this nice tower and the first thing that we're going to do is under in this corner so where we've got this high bit we're going to have one block and I'll just put the other one on, on the other side here and we're then going to start with our grey concrete at the bottom here we're going to go one two three blocks and then we're going to come down from this one two three blocks like so then we're going to bring this up diagonally two blocks like this and come across four blocks there we're going to have one block here on top and then we're going to keep stepping this down so it just goes level with the blocks here all the way down until we get to the floor. Moving back towards the build with the grey concrete we're going to start stepping out two blocks at a time and one block out this way until we connect up with the walkway on this side. Now on the other side we're also going to connect up with the walkway but we're going to do it with four diagonal blocks just like so. And on top of each of these blocks, we're going to go up with two quartz like this. Next, against this glass, we're going to place three quartz, a sea lantern and a fourth quartz just like this. And now stepping up towards this one single block that we've got here, which is from the edge just here, we're going to be using two grey concrete and then a combination of stepping back and forth with quartz and the grey concrete to build us up to the right level to finish this off. And that then gives us the framework that we can place the rest of the blocks against. Next, we're going to start building underneath this edge of the tower. So the first thing we're going to do is fill in two blocks of the grey concrete at each side. And then we're going to start filling in some blocks here. Now, you can save yourself some quartz and just place some blocks here. Uh, there is lighting in there, so even though it's too small, nothing would be able to spawn. We're then going to place two of the cyan concrete and a block of copper there. And now we're going to start placing two sets of two by twos all the way along the edge on both sides. And that's going to bring us right the way in line with this. And that's going to cover up the grey concrete and it's also going to bring us up to the next level. Now we're going to need some temporary blocks in order to do this. So we're going to place a temporary block here and we're going to place two of the smooth quartz against it and we can get rid of that. Then we're going to place one smooth quartz and a sea lantern. Here we're going to place two smooth quartz. 
and here again it's going to be a smooth quartz and sea lantern so just place those in then moving up we're going to do a similar thing so the first one is going to be as it was beneath two smooth quartz and then this one is going to be a smooth quartz and a sea lantern and then we're going to finish off with two smooth quartz just here and these temporary blocks i've just used glass to make it easy to see but they can be anything so do that on both sides and all the way around now we're going to continue the pattern to fill in the rest of this space and so we've got our temporary block and then two quartz here then we've got a temporary block and a quartz and a sea lantern and this one is slightly different we're going to have our temporary block with the two quartz rather than having a sea lantern here we're just going to finish off with the two quartz on this layer back to the next layer though we are going to be doing the same pattern again so we've got the two quartz first then we've got the quartz and the sea lantern and then the final one we can just place here is two quartz nearly done at the top and we've done with the sea lantern placing now and it's all just filling these in with the quartz so we've got two quartz here and the final two quartz here so there you can see we've got a lovely pattern going on at the front of this build so yeah make sure that that's in place all the way around for this back portion we're going to again need some temporary blocks so you can use any block here we're going to start by placing three of the quartz here and um, because we've got this we can place three quartz on the other side we can get rid of this and now we need a temporary block so we'll place one here we're going to go quartz sea lantern quartz in this section and we can get rid of that now we've just got this little three by three we're going to place two quartz here a temporary block and then finish off with the quartz to finish off this back section it's entirely up to you as well you can also add an extra block there just to to balance the look of the build out from the front but uh, yeah up to you whether you put that or not the final thing we're going to be doing is tying this into the ground and balancing out the grey concrete by placing some of the smooth quartz slabs going right the way across these edges. Now once we get to this point we're going to add ourselves an extra grey con concrete here and then bring the slabs out like so and then at the back we're just going to carry on with some extra slabs to tie us into this point so complete this all the way round. At this point you're probably wondering but Aidy how do we get into the base? Well we're going to fix that now. And you can put this entrance weight on any side that you want or as many of the sides as you like. So firstly we're going to come to these two sea lanterns in between the two domes and we're going to knock out a 3x3 three three gap of the blocks there and this is going to be the main entrance weight. We're also going to take out these two glass either side and these three diagonal glass here. What we're going to do then is place two of the smooth quartz coming across like this place two sea lanterns on either side on top of that with another smooth quartz on top like so. Now we're also going to place a smooth quartz each of these sides and using a temporary block we're going to fill in the middle block as well. Onto the glass now we're going to fill in two glass each side then we're going to ring, run a line of glass going right the way across. In front of this we're going to place two sea lanterns on the sides level with the edges uh, with a glass in between and one more line of glass going across the front. We're going to finish this off with a line of the smooth quartz and then down the sides, either side, we're going to run a line of the smooth quartz slabs and there we go, we have a lovely entrance now into the base. Next we have the very large step of replacing everything inside with whatever flooring you choose. Now I'm going to just be using the smooth quartz to keep it consistent going across the build here and right the way throughout. This would be a fantastic opportunity to switch the quartz up for the flooring for something like white concrete if you wished. But as I'm in creative, it doesn't make any difference for me, so I'm gonna be using these smooth quartz. But yeah, feel free to use whatever block you wish, but bring this through the entirety of the build. Once all of your flooring's in place, with the sea lantern here in the middle and the sea lanterns in the domes and everything else that we've built in, it is actually now completely spawn proof in this section so the lowest the light levels get is light level 8 in here uh, but if you did want to just make things a little bit brighter by adding some sea lanterns or some lighting in the floor then you could do but yeah as it is then nothing should be able to spawn in the bottom part of this base moving on to the donuts now the first thing that we need to do is get in and we're going to do that by breaking these six blocks here and then we've got six more blocks so these three and then the three next to it and that will give us a nice route straight into the flat section. Now that we've got access to the bottom donut, what we're going to do is we're going to build up a staircase to what's going to be the second level. So first thing we're going to do is put two cyan concrete here, 
Then we're going to place a block of copper here and we're going to place a sea lantern here with a stair either side of that going into that. Now we can, I'll just show you on one side but you repeat this on the other side as well. We're going to add two glass just here with two stairs in front of it. Then we're going to add four glass here with two more stairs just in front of it. Then we're going to add three glass here to bring this in line and we're going to add two stairs there. We're going to add one final set of stairs on top and then we're going to add ourselves a couple of quartz blocks like this which is then going to give us this staircase up to here and this is where we're going to have our bubble column. So do that on the other side and make sure you've done that all the way around as well. With the staircases all the way around, we're now going to get up to the second donut. So we're going to head up this gap that we can now get to right to the top and we're going to take out these two blocks. I'm going to take out these two blocks and that allows us into the bottom level of this donut. Now what we will need to do is fill in just a piece of glass in front of this, uh, this copper on each of the sides as well so we don't fall to our deaths. Up at the top we're going to build the staircases again. It's going to be very similar but ever so slightly different. So the first thing we're going to do is take out these two blocks either side of the doorway here and fill in that gap just there. So again we can't fall down. And then above this we're going to place two sea lanterns just like this. On one side we're going to place a glass block this time rather than the cyan concrete and the same on the other side. And then on top we're going to place our stairs like so. Then we build up in exactly the same way. So I'll show you again on this side. We're going to put two glass here with two stairs. Then we're going to put four glass here like so with two stairs again. And then we put three glass here with two more stairs. And then at this top section, we're going to go into the smooth concrete and actually smooth quartz rather. And then we've got the two stairs going at either side. So repeat that on the other side as well. And that gives us the, uh, the details that we need. The one other thing that we are going to do is we're going to start building down into this area as well. So what we're going to do is place a uh, sea lantern here, level with this. And what we're going to basically do all the way down until we get to the glass is replicate what we have. So where we have a uh, copper block here, we are going to place another copper block and copper block there. Then a sea lantern to mirror this one. And then two more copper blocks to bring us down to the glass section. And that will then give us exactly what we need for the soul sand elevators, we're just going to build these in two of the sides, and we're going to build drop chutes in the other three, in the other two sides. So, firstly, what we're going to do is we're going to take out these five blocks just to give ourselves a bit more headroom as we come up the stairs here. And in front of this, we're going to make sure that we place three of the fence gates. They can be any colour, but I'm going to be using the walk because they match up with the cyan concrete. In this little hole, we're going to place ourselves soul sand. And then we're going to head up to the top here and at the very top we're going to place ourselves some water. Then just head down and fill in some kelp all the way up to the top and then head back down again and break the kelp on the bottom. And that will then zoop you up to the top and pick up all the kelp. Where it comes down to these drops then what we're just going to do is fill in with a bucket of water here and place an ender chest in there to break the fall. And that's all you need to do uh, when it comes to these, aside from, again, knocking out the glass across here. So you've got easy access. The final thing to do on the inside is to put the second floor in. And that's going to be done in the bottom donut and in the top donut. And they're exactly the same, so I'll just show you on the bottom donut. And the way that we're going to do this, first of all, is obviously we're going to make sure that we've got access to these stairways. So there's going to be a, an upside down stair here, first of all. Then an upside down stair curving into that one there. And one on the other side. Then we're going to go one, two, three all the way out with these slabs on these two sides we're going to place ourselves two of the quartz blocks either side and then we're equally going to come out one two three four these sides because we haven't got the stairs one two three four and then connect up on these sides just like so now what we're going to take is our black stained glass and we're going to run these across and round as a little protective uh, glass walkway to stop people from falling in the holes because it looks a bit nicer 
And once we've done that, it gives us access to the staircases and it gives us access to the, uh, the drop chutes and the bubble vapors. The next thing to do is simply, once you've done that on all four sides, take our slabs and literally fill in the entirety of the space. And to make sure you've got the right level, it is just the level beneath this grey concrete uh, that we're just going to fill in. And then I will show you where to put all of the sea lanterns. With both the floors put in place on the two donuts, then these are actually completely spawn proof. However, if you did want some extra light, then I would suggest that you place some sea lanterns here and then one going out just outside this block and across here like so and the same on the other side just like this and then when you add the same ones in here so that would be one here and then one just here those line up nicely and give a nice pattern of the uh, lanterns in the floor so if you do want to add them in completely optional like i say it's already spawn proof there's no light levels beneath nine up here uh, but now that is done with the interior in its entirety and we've just got a few things to finish on the outside. One last thing before we do head outside, as you can see we do get slightly drippy here in the build. Now if you want to stop this from happening then you can literally just place a trapdoor there and that will mean that it's not just a single block anymore and if you do that all the way around it stops any of the drips. The last thing that we're going to do as a finishing touch is to put some glass fins on these towers just to break things up a little bit and we're going to use some white stained glass first of all and the white stained glass is going to go in these two sides and it's going to run right the way up here just like so with one line and then an extra line up just in front of that as well so we'll fill those in quickly once that's filled in we're going to add an additional line coming from this overhanging block here which is going to be using the cyan stained glass panes and that's going to run all the way down. Once we've added the glass fins above we're going to do exactly the same just down in between the two donuts. So first of all we're going to add the white stained glass and that's going to be two layers coming out and then in front of that we've just got a single layer of the cyan stained glass just like this. And the build is now complete. As you can see, I've added some beacons into the middle of the base so you can get some status effects whilst you're inside. And it also adds some really cool lighting effects through the middle of the donuts as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this build. If you have, let me know in the comments. I really do appreciate reading those. Leave a like on the video as well. That really does help the channel, as does subscribing. So all that's left to be said is make sure you check out the other videos in the Futuristic series. There are an awful lot of them. So go make sure you do have a look at those. And I will see you all next time on AD Craft. Bye.